Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm uh, Ben Jolene, I'll be doing the commentary today. I know basically nothing about this game, but that's okay. Because this game is pretty cracked and very fast. Uh, it's one of the shorter games in the series, and as you can see, we immediately go uh, out of bounds using the uh, Nightmare Box. Uh, this first planet is a uh, big one, so uh, Black is going to concentrate here. Uh, but basically what we're doing is we're just hitting a series of checkpoints so that the, the map works, is my vague understanding of what's uh, going on. Story stuff is story stuff. Um, we're transporting some prisoners. There's going to be an escape attempt soon. Spoilers. Um, yeah, so we're just having a, a chill, chill run. So there's two really big holes in the floor here, so we're going to try and avoid them. Yeah. It's a bit of a time loss if you die here, because you have to basically do half the stage casually again. Yeah, we're like and 10 seconds in. I mean, we're all about going fast here, not going yeah. slow. It's not slow. We're not we're not slow. No. Yeah, so Nebulox is just really a lot of going around the ships. Yeah. While going back in, hitting triggers, going back out. Find the bits with collision, the bits without. Yeah, a lot of the ship has collision for some reason. I think it's for the... I think they put it in because of the areas outside that you view. I mean, that's just sort of an Insomniac oh. staple. Like, a lot of their yeah. games have collision in places that you wouldn't necessarily expect there to be collision. Yeah, especially in the Ratchet games. Yeah, they, they just like collision. Yeah, they're not a huge fan of not blue. Yeah. I mean, it's good for us. Yeah. So, that went perfectly. Awesome. I couldn't tell if it did. <laughs> yeah, don't die. <laughs> that, was, that was the one big part I was worried about, so glad yeah. we got that. There's a cutscene here, we're going to skip it. There are some soft locks in this game. I don't know where they are, and you've promised me you're not going to um, go near them, so we, we don't have to worry about them, right? Nah, we're not worrying. Easy. Uh, we're now outside, floating around in gravity. Um, we're going to try and uh, optimize our movement with the gravity boots here. Uh, and for all of these gravity segments. Yeah, so these uh, blue floors are the gravity boots. Uh, you can, like, jump across them. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So, it's kind of hard to do it fast, though. Yeah. It's almost like they don't want you to go fast. Yeah, almost. It's like you're supposed to enjoy the game as, like, a casual player and, you know. That's not what we're about here, though. I mean, they already had enough complaints that the game was too short. So. The game is too short. The game is too short. Yeah. It's, it's I don't think I've ever heard someone say the game's too long. Yeah, I mean, I think I beat this game casually in, like, four hours, maybe five. Yeah, I think it's about six hours if you get, like, everything in yeah. two playthroughs. Ooh. Oh, you're inbound. Yep, so cool back up here. Cool. So, like, with a lot of Ratchet and Clank games, uh, Nightmare Box has some amount of collision, and it pushes you out of bounds. At least, I think that's what it's doing. Uh, yeah, so basically it just pushes you through walls. Yeah. You can also stand on it and do some cool stuff, which we'll see later. Yeah. But it, we're through all the nasty parts of Nebulox. There's no more chance of me dying. Let's go. Dying's pretty cringe. So. Yeah, I don't like dying. But we get to see the gravity boots and the jumping between platforms yeah. a lot in this particular yeah, this section. Yeah, this is like the, the big section for it. Yeah. Until the end of the game where it ha comes back again. Yeah. Watching people good at this is genuinely insane. Yeah. I think Mobius is pretty good at this. Oh, he is the best. Yeah. Him, and, him and Yugi. Shout outs to those two. Yeah. There's some weird, there's some weird quirks in this section though. If you, uh, if you have an enemy in front of you, you the can't do anything. Oh, right. It's really annoying sometimes. So this is... Um, hang on, what? Nexus came out quite late in the PS3 cycle, and you can already sort of see the hints of them moving towards a much more scripted-based game. And so there's a bunch of collision here. I don't care about it. Yeah. <laughs> collision smallision. Yeah. So, that was Nebulox. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Nebulox is also the only part of the game that's different between NTSC and PAL. Oh. It's Nebulox 7, the number, oh. in America. And it's Nebulox 7, the word, uh, everywhere else. That is a weird localization. Yeah, and it's the only difference, too. I should go add that to the trivia page. I was looking up trivia for the game because I didn't, I didn't do any homework. Yeah. Uh, and the, the trivia is, like, so bad. <laughs> yeah, the Ratchet Wiki is a little questionable. Oh, yeah. It's getting better, though. Slowly. Yep, so now we're coming on to Yerrick. Got a nice big skip at the start here. 
I think it's called like tree tree skip or whatever. I don't know. Names aren't important. Names aren't important. I remember them like failing this jump at ESA and so you know. You just... I'm gonna give myself three shots for it. If not, I'm gonna do the backup. Fair. I'm Shout normally, out to Zem, he's just cool. I'm I'm normally really consistent at this, but then I like Wednesday, I just stopped being able to do it. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just gonna do the backup. Fair. What's the back I've not seen the backup. Um well, it's not really a backup, it's more so an easier strat, but Fair. come up on this box here. Alright. So, we get to see standing on nightmare boxes there, and you can just high jump up them. Because again, normally, collision, just normally you go up to those boxes and then jump up over that wall, but instead we get to clip through the wall. I mean, clipping is just as good as jumping, right? Yeah. That should clip. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, and normally you can just jump over up, up to this section. I'm so jealous as a uh, deadlocked runner that you can just clip wherever you want. I had none of that, I'm going to be honest. Oh, fair. I'm just, I'm just whinging that you get to clip without having to worry where the doors are. Deadlock clipping's easy though. Everyone hates it. Oh, yeah. But, nah. It's forward clipping that sucks. In yeah. Deadlocked. So this is one of the only times that we're going to be actually inbounds for, for Yarrick. Oh, yeah. mm. But because we skipped the start of this, this planet, we are missing a gadget called the Rift Cracker. And right. it basically lets us move between... You'll see those little purple circles on the side? Wow, I actually got the name right. It is the Rift Cracker. No. I totally forgot what it was called. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. But it basically lets Clank do some cool stuff. He has his little, his little side missions that we mostly skip because we don't get it. I think this game has some of the best Clank gameplay. Oh, easily. I mean, they just ripped off what, what was it, like the letter V? <laughs> but, um, good Clank gameplay. Um, so I'm trying to hit a trigger here. Oh, right, okay. I hit the trigger. And now I may or may not get, oh, yep, cool. I think I hit the trigger. So the, va the vague story things going on here is the, the dimensional shenanigans sort of wrapping up the uh, the PlayStation 3 trilogy. Quadrilogy, I guess, because it's the fourth game. I can count, I swear. Ah, there we go. There Hit we go. Trigger. That was weird. Yeah. Yep, nice. Do a nice night nightmare box stand. Get up there. And that's the end of the, end of the planet. Let's go. This game only has like five planets. Like we're it, blitzing through we, this. We got we got six planets. Is it six? Okay. <laughs> so we're coming up to Crag. It's a nice little arena planet. Oh, yeah. I always forget about Crag. It's pretty mindless, honestly. Yeah. But we got four four arena missions there. Two of them are basically the same thing. Yeah. And we got a bit of variety. We also see our first load cancel. Not load cancel. Um. Uh, difficulty. Difficulty cancel. Uh, difficulty yeah. warp. Yeah. There we go. Because this game uh, lets you select your difficulty. There's yeah. like three of them. Uh, it pretty much just reloads you. Yep. Which is uh, quite yeah. handy. So we have to do these arena missions because reasons. Um, but they're just like wave-based arena missions. So it's probably a great time for donations if you have any. Yeah. We're basically just going to put out these little things and let the game play itself yeah it's like fantastic well i do have a 30 dollar donation from mobius who says good luck fb nas much ah. love from everyone in the rac arena thank and you then, mobius. shout out to mobius on the whole rack arena we have a 50 dollar donation from dan mtd who says hey. good luck fb nas thank you dan awesome Keep going, there's loads. We've got plenty of time. Fantastic. Uh, just to remind you all of who we are, we are Old Speedruns, a group doing speedrun events to raise money for charity. For this event, we're raising money for Game On Cancer, a charity that funds early career cancer researchers who are working across all areas of cancer research. If you'd like to donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. It's 
So the Mangler. This arena, this arena mission's a little different. We got this. Oh, it's got, got the, the Mangler. Mangler. <laughs> it, Who doesn't love the it's, Mangler? It's basically nothing. Fair. We get to dodge some stuff. Oh, I, I remember from my trivia. I, I've got my trivia here. The Rhino, every time you use it, plays a knight on Bolt Mountain. Yes. Uh, and and the, the fun fact is that every time you hit the trigger, it, it restarts. Yeah. Uh, and the worst piece is that even with a full tank of ammo, you never get to the good bit of the song. <laughs> now they should have cut it. Uh, yeah, they, they really should have. Is this pest control? Pest control's over. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, That's over. Up. And so because we're playing in challenge mode, we've got all the weapons, all the gadgets, fully upgraded, got the best armor. And you're going to see here what we can do to boss fights. And it's... And we're just going to obliterate it, really. Yep. Great boss fight. So that was all four of our arena missions. And here we're gonna basically skip some cutscenes, reload the game through. Yeah, do that difficulty what we were talking about. Yeah. So you change the difficulty and it uh, resets the game. Yeah, which is very handy to be able to do whenever you want. But it also doesn't put you back into cutscenes, which is handy. Yeah. And now we're into Silox. This is one of the worst planets in the game. I hate this planet. Yeah. I right. think a lot of people do. <laughs> it's just one specific part of Silox that just sucks. I was talking to my friends about this game. And they're like, the first two thirds of this game just suck. But then the last like third is decent. And so we, you remember it fondly. <laughs> yeah. Another difficulty up there. Just skips a pretty boring cutscene. Oh, yeah. Do some more platforming shenanigans. And now we are back out of bounds. Ooh. I don't think you're technically supposed to be here, but... So I'm going to pull it out of bounds. Yeah. Because this is the area that you sort of fly around freely later. No, this is basically just background scenery. Oh, okay. I think. It's been a while since I last played Silox casually, so... Yeah, I think I've played this game casually for like two years. I don't think I've played this game casually since, like, 2016. Right. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting old. You're getting old. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really just more out-of-bounds movement. That's a lot of this game. Yeah. And we're dropping down here to hit a trigger to load what's called the relay station. It's basically the second half of the, st of the, uh, of the planet. I'm going to clip out-of-bounds here. Once again. Yeah, that's what I like about a lot of Ratchet games is that they do tend to be very he movement heavy speed runs. There's the relay station. There's the relay station. And that was the really bad part that I don't like, and I got it perfectly. Whew. You're doing pretty well. Yeah. Relay station. Good on time, too. Apart from a bit of uh, trouble on the air. Yeah. We just don't talk about it. Been her on. No run's perfect. I will hack the relay station. Sounds like a plan. I always find this section like mind numbing casually. I don't even remember playing this casually. Alright, I did not place my uh my stuff there correctly. Right. So normally that thing just gets sucked in if you do yeah. it properly, but I mean it still does reasonable <laughs> I, I did not do it properly. This encryption algorithm is rather complicated. So hopefully we get to see the things get sucked in. This one. That's gonna work. Yeah. We there's take big, those. There's a big boss ship there that we have to kill. Uh, we don't anymore. Yeah. It got sucked in. I don't remember what that weapon's called, but it's basically a big uh, black hole that sucks in all your enemies. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I, I remember Nightmare Boxes and the Rhino. And I remember like the Rip Ripper it. from Rack 3, and I'm like, it's the, it's the same weapon. Wasn't that Rack 2? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I think it is. No, I think it's Rack 3. It's in Rack 3 at least. <laughs> okay. Now we've got Clank's jetpack. We won this back on crack, which is why yep. we have to go there. 
actually thought this was a really clever thing in the game that they gave you this sort of free form flying area. Yeah, but it's going to backfire for him. Oh, yeah. So I don't know why, but we can fly above the, uh, above the, um, jetpack height limit sometimes. When it feels it, like it. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. There we go. First try. Let's go. Yeah, that was first try. Just that's, more clipping, yep. out of bounds yep. movement. Again, a very movement heavy game. And that's the nice thing about the new game plus categories is that it takes out all of the sort of worrying about weapons because everything's just max. Yep, that platform sometimes doesn't load in properly. Yep. Here we have a boss fight. Boss is dead. Goodbye, boss fight. Yeah. Man, I struggled with that casually. A lot of, a lot of the boss this. fights in NG Plus categories are just jokes. Oh, yeah. Because we've already got everything fully leveled. And now we're basically just going to be backtracking back to the start of the, start of the level. Yeah. Got something, some something at the end is near the beginning. Yeah. It's not, but you, you got to say it. For the memes. As uh, J-Hub said, the start is the beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. The end is at the beginning. Can't believe I didn't quote J-Hub's correctly. Wow. Shame. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. You should be. You are now entering a no-fly zone. Yep, I hope you like the that part, because we're never going to see it again. Yeah. So when was the last time you played this game? Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I played it like during the pandemic. Oh yeah. I like okay. raced Dan. Oh, you like learnt NG Plus? No. No? We, we, we just booted uh, the game up casually and yeah. we raced to the end of the game. Yeah, that's always fun. Yeah. yeah, we try and do it every year. So naturally we haven't done it for three years. <laughs> <laughs> and what, the last time you played Deadlock was three years ago? Probably. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. So this is Thram. We got to collect stuff on Thram. Yeah. Thram has some tech, I believe, with, like, mashing, I think. Um, so, we're not, there's a cutscene trigger there that we, uh, we should hit, but we're not going to yet. Because we're going to collect some stuff early. I did not mean to throw that out. Right. So, yeah, basically, the way this works is, well, not the way the trick works, but what the game wants you to do is kill a bunch of enemies, uh, these sort of mini-boss enemies, get their, like, horns. Uh, and you trade them in for the charge boots and then I think like uh, the info bot or whatever the equivalent is in this game. Yeah, it's uh, at the end. So we just optimize getting them and then you can like mash buttons or something to like just get the charge boots with less stuff. I think. I don't know. Yeah, the the thing there, you can you can have the uh, crystals going towards you and then if you hit a cutscene trigger you just get them. Yeah. For some reason. So yeah, there's our ten horns. I'm gonna talk to the smuggler twice because we just love the smuggler. Yeah. I mean, he was an interesting character. Was he? The, the series. I, I don't know. It's been a while since I played the other future games. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while for me too. So yeah, now I've got the charge boots. Woo. Because giving speedrunners more movement options has never backfired ever. Never. Never. We definitely like being able to go fast. So, go climb some rocks. Yeah. I forget why we climbed the rocks, but we're going to climb Because um, we have to go over this way. Okay. And that's the only way we can get there. But okay. it's a, not the only way. You can do a trick called... Being uh, a casual. Nether launches or oh, something. Yeah, that'll work. Um, they're really difficult, and I don't know how to do them. Fair. But they're really cool. And uh, this is the final Yeah, this planet. is the last planet. Yeah. This is Iglia. Nexus really is a short game. <laughs> yeah, it's not very long. I always play Deadlocked, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go to Nexus afterwards, and I'll just be like, wow, this is really not that long. Which is not, like, it, it's good to have a short run every now and again as, like, a palate cleanser sort of thing. Yeah. I actually really enjoy, from a, a casual perspective, this museum, and, like, getting to relive the whole story and oh, yeah, see all the different, like, things. This was really cool casually, and I messed that clip up. Yeah. It, it's reminiscent of a lot of Ratchet and Clank games have the Insomniac Museum, and for them to just sort of build it into the game... Get wrecked. Yeah. The skill issue. 
Okay, awesome. So we're back in bounds. Now we're not. Yeah. Pretty common in this game. But yeah, similar to Nebulox, we're basically just going in, hitting some stuff, going back out. Yeah, because normally you have to like go and collect this like museum curator guy and run yeah. around with him to trigger I hope you things. I like and... the game audio because it's going it's... away. Yeah. Uh, Nexus is a, a very well developed game. They cooked definitely oh. for long enough. It didn't go away. Huh. Nice. Are you sure you did it right? <laughs> Yeah, this is the best room in the whole game. This is the Groovatron experience room. We got some people in the crowd busting a move. Yeah. I always found this line to be incredibly cringe, like uh, even at the time. I, up. <laughs> I did not mean to long jump there, so naturally I'm going to be here for 10 minutes trying to get the cycle. Look, you're just so good at the movement, you want to just really show it off. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for that platform to go up. Yeah. I'm just going to do it casually. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot how to do that. It's fine. Yep, there we go. So normally, there's that little black square there yeah. on the lasers. You can charge off that, get over here. Okay. There we go. Okay. I didn't fall off. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. And there's cutscenes, and we skip them. Oh, audio's gone. Ah, there we go. Yep. Yeah, we expected this, so tech, don't, don't freak out. Yeah, please. There we go. And without the audio, you can't tell if you hit the thing or not. Yeah. Oh, I didn't flip. Yeah, normally you can clip out there and get here a bit faster. But if you're good. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> oh, well. Always next time. Oh, well. This game so really is a different experience without the game audio. the last room of the museum. Now we're going to the city center. Our nice taxi is going to take us there. And our last difficulty warp of the game. Nice. And so here I'm going to be holding forward into the black screen because we can still move. And there's two cutscenes here. And we can just... Combine them. Man, the way that cut that like goes to black is terrifying. Yeah. Well, music's back. Let's go. We must destroy them. So yeah, normally you're supposed to run around, break sort of three warp spawner things. We're gonna not do that because who's got time for that? Yeah. Yeah. The nice thing about this game is enjoy all the black, all the uh, all the black screens. You can still move around. Yeah. Oh. There we go. So, yeah, so normally, yeah. normally you're supposed to do this after doing all the, uh, all the little side things in here, but why would we do that? We just clip in. And you're not supposed to get hit by those cars, but... No, it's, it's RNG manipulation. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's how you get a good yeah. boss fight. Yeah, yeah. This is how I'm getting a perfect Mr. Eye. Yeah, yeah. Mo Mobius DM'd me about it earlier. Did he? No. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that. You're right, I shouldn't have said anything. So this is the final boss of the game. And it's split into five sections. Three ratchet fights and two clank sections. Okay, so we get to see the clank section and the, the yep. riveting clank gameplay. Again, it's some of the best clank gameplay in the series, really. Yeah, it's at worst third best in the series. Yeah, I, I find it sort of tied with some of the stuff they did in uh, Kraken Time. The a, a Crack of Time and Rift Apart's uh, Clank sections are amazing. I love those. Yeah, it only took them like 20 years but to figure out how to make a good Clank section. You, you play the Clank sections in like Ratchet 1 and Ratchet 2 and Ratchet 3, and then you just never want to play them again. Oh, yeah. They suck. If you can hear me, please tell me where you so, yeah, are. this is Clank sections. They're really interesting puzzle movement stuff, but... Yeah. You just sort of skip them. Yeah, that box is going to clip us through the floor. Yeah, so we're now just in the wall. Fun stuff. Yeah, this is the void. Um, if you go in the wrong place, you can, you're gonna have to restart the mission. So let's avoid that. Oh, I was not far. So yeah, so you can see this guy that's like uh, sleeping here. Uh, you gotta wake him up and then race him to uh, back to the sort of start of the level. Well, no, yep. it's not the start. It's like Vendra. I missed the soft box for this mission, so. 
Let's go. Happy times. Happy times. See, we said we didn't want to talk about the soft locks. There we go. Here, try this. Stand back. So, Vendra, currently on screen. That's the big villain of this game. We're trying to free her for some reason. Story stuff. Apparently, freeing her saves the world. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't understand. Oh, thank. Back to Ratchet. Yeah. Hi, Ratchet. These Ratchet sections are really engaging. Yeah, you just hold down the button. Yeah. And then you get to do some it's, jumping puzzles. It's a lot more interesting in the uh, any percent categories because you actually get to play the game. Oh, yeah. During these parts. Imagine playing the game. For fun. Why would you want to do that? Who plays games for fun? So, this mission, we have to start it by restarting. I'm not quite sure why, but the uh, tutorials say to do so, so I will be doing so. It and probably I never, avoids a soft lock. Probably. Or, or I never really bothered thing. to ask, so... Maybe Mobius is going to be roasting me in chat, but... I mean, he always roasts me in chat. Yeah, it's, that's it's not my problem. Apparently last time he gaslit me about how something works, so... Oh yeah, I did that. No, oh, you gaslit yeah, us, Yeah, I right. was wrong. <laughs> you were wrong, and then I was wrong, and then Mob was like, you were right. And I'm like, oh yeah. Thanks, Mob. Yeah. I miss you, Mob. <laughs> I, do, I don't. <laughs> Oh, yep. okay. Okay. I was not as far in as I thought. So yeah, so we've clipped down the bounds again. We're doing the exact same thing for the clank section. Fun riveting stuff. And that's one. the last clank section. Thanks. Thanks, clank. Casually, these are a lot more fun. Yeah, they're really interesting puzzles. Yeah. Fun, as they go. Which is which has been a good good trend for the future game. series. Ranger yeah. All their clank sections were really engaging. We'll and so time will be soon. Now, that's time. Now, fine, thank you. <laughs> there we go. That was Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. Well, what is this? Let's go. I'm happy with 2648. We take those. Oh, Kraut is cheering for me. Thank you, Kraut. <laughs> so, well, do you have any shout outs? Shout outs to the Ratchet community, everyone in there. Yeah. If you want to learn these games, any any game in the series, just join the just join the Discord. We're very welcoming and friendly in there. Yeah. Or at least I assume so. It's been every, a while. Every game in the series, you can get help with there. Yeah. Everyone. Every game has someone extremely knowledgeable about it. It's Run a deadlock. Community. We want more deadlock runners. Yeah. Yeah. That was Nexus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Fire Proof Nasta, for that amazing Ratchet and Clank run. We've had a few donations come through to take us over $11,100. We had $50 from Benjamin, who says, just making sure Lacey runs Sonic. $20 from CPES, says, good luck, FB at Nart. Shout out to the Rack community. And then no pressure SNC, but $10 for Anonymous who says donating $1 per death for SNC's run of Super Sammy Roll.
All right, everybody, we're going to get into our second last game of the night. We have some Super Sammy Roll run by SNC Sector 7G. You can take it away anytime. <laughs> 